today we go to war. We're out here checking it out. Bunch of displays, as you can see, and they have helicopters. And there's a Vietnam uh, display uh, in that area down there by the way. The 40th anniversary of the first Florida chapter of the Military Vehicle Preservation Association held this year's winter rally in Green Cove Springs, Florida. The rally had plenty to see, including the main event hosted by WW2 Armor. It was a scaled reenactment of Operation Husky, where, during World War II, the Allies took the island of Sicily back from fascist Italians and Nazi Germans in 1943. Also at the rally were local food trucks, a swap meet, UH-1 Iroquois, or better known as the Huey, helicopter flights, and plenty of displays to look over. Setting up the field, getting ready for the demonstration. So we're going to walk down the line here and see. 1943, U.S. Army and Allied forces have gained hard won experience and tasted success in North Africa. Axis forces, composed of more than 250,000 German and Italian troops, had surrendered in Tunisia. That's considered part of North Africa.
So enjoy the show. Fire in the hole, sir. Awesome. And as far as I know, certain companies still produce this weapon today. We're ready when you are, guys. Go ahead, soldier. Fire when you're ready, please. Great job. Um, next Canadian soldier and his kit or uniform and equipment would be exactly that of a soldier fighting on the island of Sicily. He's armed with a uh, 303 caliber Enfield, which fires a 303 caliber bullet, five round capacity on a swivel clip, full action. Also known for its very reli great reliability and accuracy. Go ahead and be ready, soldier. Ready when you are, Christian. Well, it does. It doesn't make sense. Right? So, gas operated from a 50 round magazine in World War II. They developed a 20 round stick magazine and a 30 round. This is a 20 round. The fire and hole, ready when you are, Daniel. They allow it to shoot grenades over the top of buildings or through building windows when the soldiers are assaulting positions. Young gentlemen can demonstrate the use of that. Ready when you are, fire and hold. It has a pretty good range. After the demonstration is completed, preparations for the reenactment begin. Scout car is going to come closer, investigate a little bit more thoroughly. No idea the Germans are in place on the hill. Pulling up behind the Kubel wagon is the M20 armor car with its 50 caliber machine gun, giving the soldiers cover as they investigate further. Germans opened fire with a bazooka that they captured from the Americans in North Africa.
that was our trip to the World War II armor reenactment. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And hit the little bell notification so you'll get alerted next time I post a video. Thank you.